All right, jumping into a brand new tournament. We are fighting for intensive training catch. So jumping in, we are taking on the Albed Sykes. Gover's taking on the Beasts. We've gotten a lot of the catch trainings already out of the way. Probably gonna give this to Nubi or Urga. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Like, it just doesn't. It's either is fine. Um, it is nice to get it out of the way, but to be honest, catch is not really something we care about. So I would rather get a different training, but it's fine. Like, it's, you know, it's what we got. Yeah, you got the Beast scoring 1-0 against the Goers, and then we get to take on the Sykes. I mean, we should 100% win this. Like, I can't imagine a world where we lose against the Albed Sykes. That would be shocking. There it is, 1-0. Nice. I'm always, I mean, I, I don't expect to lose, but whenever they get close to our goal, I get a little bit nervous. Wish that they are able to score there. You can just get, I was going to say, just get that second one. Darga is injured, but I just don't, I don't know, I really just believe we got this. Even though we are going back and forth. I think what really makes me feel like we've got this is, whenever we push for a goal, we, it seems like we get it every single time. So... They can only ever match us. They can never surpass us. And there it is. I mean, that's a 4-3. Easy. Easy win. Victory is ours. Perfect. Gonna have to jump in, do some training. Gotta recover Darga Ronso. I'm clicking everywhere. I don't know what's going on. All right, that's better. Cool. Let's jump in. Let's see if we can claim victory again. This time going against the Guadagoris. Defeat is incredibly possible. It is the Guadagoris. They are very good. Sky level two strikes first. I mean, I'm not sure who's better now because the Fang slash Scout level team here are they're winning, but then they they've been losing against the Beasts. I it's weird. It's weird. Now it, it's happening again. It's happening again. Okay, they, they bring it back. They bring it back. 3-2. Scout level team wins. Good for them. Dude, that was crazy. I thought they were going to lose again. <laughs> I saw it in the in the stars. I was like, oh, it's over. Hey, this, is, this is where it all... You go up 2-0 and then you get rolled by the beasts. All right, well, what are we doing? It's, is this, is this a 1-0? Is this what we're gonna do? Oh, our guy does get injured, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, jeez, no. I don't like my forwards injured. A few attempts, but we just can't quite get them. Odd is injured. Oh, but they're pushing. Dude, this is wild. We are so close. Gazan is injured. No way. I think Gosna injury it kills it. Yeah. And that is going to be a defeat for us. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Alright. Well, let's train. We're going to play the Consolation. I should mention as well, um, I talked about it last game. I don't... We're not going to, after this, go for another tournament and do manipulation. We're going to accept the loss, and we're just going to go through the next tournament as well and just accept the results of that one. If we lose two tournaments in a row, then we'll do some win manipulation. Maybe give ourselves like two tries to beat a team, I don't know. But we're, I think we're at the level where we don't necessarily have to do that, but you know, I think we are. I, I could be proven wrong at any moment. That is very, very possible. But let's jump in. Let's see if we can defeat the uh, Kilka Beast. I guess this will be a good indicator. Like if we're ready for the for the prime time. Can we take out the beast at least? Like, can we claim a win somewhere here that is not the Albed Sykes? Very, very important questions. Zero, zero OT is here. It is a one zero game for sure, unless they hit 30 minutes. Then it just restarts the whole game. There it is. 
Fangs claim victory in the entire tournament. So we sort of won. In name alone. I mean, we're the real Fangs, but we're on the Gold Wings team. It's confusing, but we're there. <laughs> gonna have Gosna push forward. Gonna pass to Basique Gronzo. I respect it. Basique will set up our guy. Oh, but the interception is there. That's not what we like to see. Question is, can we have our guy tackle Dean? Get an injury, maybe? Something cool? At least the steal. The steal is there. I'll take it. Our guy shoots. And he scores. Nice. Or about pass to Borgia. If we can just go up two goals, that's the real comfort level. We're up one, but if Warbite scores here, it feels like a back and forth, right? Not our favorite thing to experience. Warbite challenges, Zondi pushes. Pass to Gosna. And the seek with the ball, nice. Pressure? Oh, but no touch. Sets up our guy, okay. Gosna claims the ball. Borgia challenges. Okay, okay. Borgia injured. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so back and forth. And the Borgia injury is massive because it, it eliminates their center and the center attack strategy. Like, the play style is center attack. You don't have a center, gonna have some issues. We're up 2-0. This is, this feels like victory. This is, this is a little bit of vindication, right? Because I just talked about how we were going to accept the results of the tournaments and we are going to go through the next tournament and not do manipulation if we had gone through and lost this game that would have made me really nervous for the future i'm not saying we're going to win the next one either but I, I think there's some validity in having tournaments that you aren't guaranteed to win you know and i'm not saying the win manipulation tournaments were guaranteed because we definitely lost some but they are easier than <laughs> regular tournaments because we reset right we give ourselves three tries to beat the team but we're just crushing the beast. This is disgusting. Yeah, this feels this feels mean. I mean, we are max pressure as well. That definitely helps. I think we're max pressure, which helps. And the the Ronso Fangs generally have high endurance. I think endurance is one of the most impactful things we get for intensive training. And the fact that we already have like what ninety three for Basik. Like, it's, it's almost like they were already intensively trained on endurance when we started this challenge uh, run with them. So, it's a very good thing for us. Very good, and it's definitely making the difference, in my opinion. We're going to have Zondi pass to Gosna. Gosna will set up a seek. Ooh, the block is there though. Nizarut past the Larbite. Larbite past Tiskin, okay. So far so good. This is great. Maybe sets up Gazna. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it doesn't matter if we score or not. We're three points up. Like, it's completely unnecessary. 
it is nice to kind of pat our our goals, but it's also, you know, it's okay, it's, I guess. It <laughs> doesn't make a difference. I mean, at the end of the day, we do have to accept the fact that we lost this tournament, right? We're, we're claiming third place here. This is not, this is not the goal. You know, it's not, not what we love to see. And there it is, 4-0, nice. Warbite will pass back to Colkin. But I mean, that'll pretty much wrap it up. I mean, what, five seconds left? Nothing can really happen in that time. And there it is, 4-0, final score. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Gonna get the Kill Go workout. We are going to forego training. We do not need to send anyone away. But uh, thank you all so much and See you next time.